Hi there, this is Mr. Choke. You are watching our YouTube channel. If you are still watching, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. And I promise you that will make your academic problems of accounting a thing of the past. And also, please don't forget to share this lesson with your friends so that they can also gain the accounting knowledge that you are presently getting. So with that out of the way, let's get into the lesson of the day. Now, in this lesson, like I said, we are going to be completing a note called cash generated by operations remember when you do um your cash flow statement it has got a number of notes but this one that we are focusing on is explaining how we made our money to uh through our day-to-day -day, uh running of the business so that's what we are going to be focusing on uh, for this uh, session so the first thing that you need to make sure that you get is that you need to make sure that you get your formats right very important for you to be sure about your formats. so now um, our format says that um, we are going to have um, profit before tax adjustment in respect of number one you are going to have um, your depreciation the reason why um, our depreciation is being uh, brought back here meaning that we are going to edit the reason why we are adding back our depreciation is because it is a non-cash -item, non item remember uh, when we're doing uh, the income statement it was subtracted so we are adding it back because it's a non-cash item and also the second thing that you're going to do you are going to add back your um, interest expense the reason why we are adding back our interest expense is because um, it's going to be uh, deducted on the phase of the cash flow statement okay and then next you'll have your changes in working capital under your changes in working capital you are going to have number one um your inventory and then secondly you are going to have your trade receivables um trade receivables and then you are going to have your trade creditors okay now uh, before we do anything, let's start with the easiest information that is available to us. So remember the format says we need to look for net profit before tax and we know that we can get it uh, from our income statement. So that's where we are going to look for it. So according to here, our net profit before tax is 2,400,000. So we're going to enter it here. Net profit before tax 2,400,000. And then after that, uh, we are going to look for depreciation an interest expense our depreciation according to this they said is one eight five seven hundred so that one eight five seven hundred will come here one eight five um seven hundred and then next we have interest um we have interest expense so interest expense will also get it uh, from the income statement according to here our interest on loan is one hundred and seventy five thousand so we're going to add back that one hundred then seventy five thousand and then from there what you are going to do um you can just add this two here okay you can make a box here add this two and put the total there so i'm just gonna open uh, my calculator quickly so that i can do that okay make sure that guys um when you write this a uh, make sure that you time yourself you write within the required time so we're going to have hundred and eighty five thousand uh seven hundred one hundred and eighty five thousand uh seven hundred plus uh one hundred and seventy five thousand it is giving us three hundred and sixty thousand seven hundred so we'd have um three hundred and sixty thousand uh seven hundred as our total for adjustment in respect of a uh, depreciation and uh interest expense and then um, let's add these two together and see how much will be our operating profit before changes in working capital. So we'll say um two million four hundred thousand, two million four hundred, uh two million four hundred thousand plus uh three hundred and sixty thousand seven hundred. And then the total that we're getting is two million um seven hundred and sixty thousand uh seven hundred. So we'll have it here. Okay. Um, let's confirm again um two million four hundred thousand uh, plus uh three hundred and sixty thousand seven hundred uh three hundred and sixty thousand seven hundred and then our answer is two million seven hundred and sixty thousand seven hundred then next after this what we are going to do we are going to look for our changes in working capital your changes in working capital is affected by three things the movement of your inventory your trade receivables and trade creditors so now 
let's start with our inventory in terms of our inventory remember um if our assets these two if they increase in value it means that money is going out of the business and this one i will explain it after so let's start with the inventory let's check um, what is happening with our inventory when you do the comparison um you have to start from last year to this year so if you check according to here our uh, inventory was 2 million for 2022 let me do it like this for 2022 um this is 2023 so for 2022 our inventory was 1,281,500 and then for this year um our inventory is 1,350,000 so you can see that we increased from here to here we have increased to get here so it means that we just need to get the difference between the two and remember i said if your inventory increases it means that you have used more money to buy so if we say um when we go and write present it like this the way i've shown you so you'll say one million two hundred and eighty one thousand five hundred um one million two hundred and eighty one thousand five hundred then you say subtract um your one million three hundred and fifty thousand okay one million three hundred and fifty thousand remember when you compare you start from uh, the current i mean the previous two current okay so let's see so here it will be um one million two hundred and eighty one one million two hundred and eighty one thousand five hundred uh, then we say minus uh, one million three hundred and fifty thousand and then the answer that we are getting is an outflow of sixty eight thousand 500 and as you can see uh, our inventory increased from 1,281,500 to 1,350,000 so it means that we lost um we used more money to buy cash uh, to buy to buy our stock so now let's go to our trade and other receivables also for your trade and other receivables be careful make sure that you don't include your salary you don't include any income that is owed to you uh, any interest income that is owed to you uh, because uh, such things are shown anything that has to do with interest has got to be shown on the face of the balance sheet okay so let's go to our trade and other receivables now in terms of your trade and other receivables they will always give you a note to explain so if you check here our trade and other receivables here they shown you that the one that you are seeing from the balance sheet includes sales so when you check um our trade and other receivables from last year it's a uh, for, for, for that we are supposed to do it's supposed to exclude sales and any and any other interest item so if you check it means this seventy five thousand will be excluded so let's add these two and get the total so if we say um one million four hundred and twenty thousand plus uh, 35,000 it is giving us 1,455,000 so that 1,455,000 uh, will come here okay and then we'll say minus let's check the balance for this year for this year um remember Sarah, we don't include it and any other interest item we don't include so for this year um we have 1,554,000 and then plus uh, twenty six thousand so one million uh, one million five hundred and fifty four uh, thousand plus twenty six thousand it is giving us one million five hundred and eighty thousand okay so it means we'll say minus one million five hundred and eighty thousand now check in terms of uh, our items if you look at this you'll realize that our debtors have increased as compared to last year so which means also if your trade receivables is increasing it means you have not received a uh, the money that you have not received has increased so it means that um that's an outflow of cash because you have not received that money okay so um so let's check the difference between the two remember we are going to take the sign of the bigger number so we're going to say um one million uh four hundred and fifty five thousand and then we subtract 
one million five hundred and eighty thousand and it's giving us hundred and twenty five thousand remember it will be in brackets that hundred and twenty five thousand okay now um let's confirm so let's check one million five hundred and eighty thousand minus uh, one million four hundred and fifty five thousand is giving us one twenty five thousand so remember it's an outflow because people who are owing us are increasing instead of decreasing so it means we are not getting any money and then next we have our trade creditors when you do your trade payables please make sure that you don't include your sars uh, any interest expense item you don't include sars shareholders for dividends and any interest expense item because those things will be shown on the cash flow so if you check here um last year uh, we had shareholders for dividends so this we are not supposed to include this we are not supposed to include and then also this we are not supposed to include so it means that last year uh, when we remember this is your 2022 so last year um if you check now what is happening here is that um your uh what is happening is that your your liabilities are decreasing so which means you paid okay so i was showing my learners that for example here if you check we moved from here to here uh, if your inventory increases it means that you'll have an outflow if your receivables increase because when you check the current year they have increased here so it means here you'll have an outflow so now in terms of this one uh, the sign the sign here and the sign here are the same so you have to check what is happening so let's check in terms of our trade creditors you are moving from one million five hundred and eighty six thousand to one million three hundred and forty seven thousand so it means that there was a decrease so obviously if our trade creditors decrease it means we'll have an outflow of cash okay so let's check where are we moving from we are moving from one million five hundred and eighty six thousand one million five hundred and eighty six thousand then we subtract uh according to here it's one million three hundred and forty seven thousand okay so let's check so one million five hundred and eighty six one million five hundred and eighty six uh thousand minus one million three hundred and forty seven thousand so it means uh we paid two hundred and thirty nine thousand okay so money is flowing so let's check again one million five hundred and eighty six thousand then we say subtract one million three hundred and forty seven a one million five hundred and eighty six Uh, subtract one million three hundred and forty seven thousand um remember that two thirty nine thousand so if you check all these items here when you look at them all of them are negative so all we have to do is we add um all of them and put uh, the bracket here so we're going to say uh, sixty eight thousand five hundred plus um hundred and twenty five thousand and then also plus two hundred and thirty nine thousand and it's giving us four three two five hundred so we'd have um four three two five hundred here okay then our cash generated by operations will be two million seven hundred and sixty thousand uh seven hundred minus uh four three two five hundred then it will give us a uh, two million three hundred and twenty eight thousand two hundred and in doing this will be done with our cash generated by operation so please make sure that you understand how this note works should you have any question you are more than welcome to get in touch with me by using the details that are available in the description of this video thank you so much for watching may god richly bless you shalom